What is up guys, this is Max Square, and it's time for another tutorial. Now just before I get in this video, I know you're all probably wondering why I have not put up the jailbreak tweaks and themes video. Um, but the reason for that is because I've had a lot of technical difficulties. Anyway, I'll try and get that up sometime next week, hopefully. But uh, yeah, expect that sometime this year. So guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to create the Mavericks X logo. So you may have seen this, I have to search it up here. Um, and you know, when you search up the Mavericks logo, you get the uh, little X here that has this transparent X that shows you the background. Now this is a pretty cool technique in Photoshop and it's actually pretty simple. So let's jump right into the tutorial. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is launch Photoshop. We're just gonna be creating a 1920 by 1080. Honestly, it's whatever you wanna make just whatever your screen size is, I suppose. And then once it loads, we're going to create an X. So just select your type tool, or you can just use the T shortcut. And then uh, we'll come here, just type an X. So I'm gonna use 244 uh, font, Helvetica new bold. Uh, this text color doesn't really matter, so just whatever it defaults to, as long as it's not white uh, for now. And uh, you can make it bigger if you want, you can make it like, 400 uh, of course you're gonna have to expand the uh, text box for it to fit inside your little box then go ahead and create a whoops go ahead and create a new layer and uh, we're just going to create the uh, lips tool and just click towards the left and then hold down shift to create a uh, perfect circle Make it a little big uh, so that you can, the X will fit inside nicely. Now this will probably not happen to your computer. My my Photoshop's just kind of messed up, so uh, don't don't worry about that. And uh, for now, just make it like red or something, the the fill color, just so we can see it. Uh, make sure that the text layer text layer, excuse me, is on top of the shape layer. Then after that, go ahead and group these two layers. Uh, now, usually you can just right click uh, while selecting the two layers in group, and then you can just do that. Or you can come down and just select a new group and then just drag them in there. Doesn't matter what you call it. And then uh, go ahead and select the text layer. Go to blending options. And now like you can see here, I just right clicked and selected blending options. Or you can come down to this little effects and select blending options either way whatever works for you. Then just make sure knockout is set to shallow with the fill opacity set to zero. Then we wanna get the Mavericks wallpaper. Now, if you're lazy, you can go ahead and just Google it. Uh, but if you wanna do it the right way, the official way, go ahead and open up system preferences, go to desktop and screensaver, go to uh, desktop pictures, and then just select the Mavericks logo. Then just drag this thumbnail right onto your desktop uh, you can store it wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. And then just drag it straight into Photoshop. It should just fill edge to edge. Of course, we wanna drag this behind because we're gonna be using this as the background layer. So uh, don't watch what I'm doing, it's not right. So now that our background is out of our group, we can see that the text is making its fill and taking the background and filling it up inside. So you can just take this group and you can move it around wherever you want, you can see just dynamically changes it because it's all transparent. So that's great. Now, if this is the technique you wanted, you can go ahead and stop the tutorial and go do whatever you want, but I'm gonna be showing you how to just get this X and make it look cooler. So you can take this uh, red and you can change it to white just so it's a little nicer. Now, what you wanna do is select the background layer and you wanna select the rectangular marquee tool. Probably said that wrong. And then just kind of drag a little square, a little box that kind of fits around the little X. So just select that there. Go to image, go to not image, go to layer, go to layer mask, and then select reveal selection. Now you can see we just have white in the X, so nothing too fancy. Uh, and of course we can drag it around, but when we do that, you can see how this is now our wallpaper. So switch off your background layer and then go to file, and then go to save as. I'm gonna just save this to the desktop. Save as a PNG. Just gonna name it Mavericks. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so that's all great, and we're very close to finishing. I just open this PNG inside of preview, and then just select again above it, hold down shift to create a nice little cube, 
and uh, that looks about right. We can drag it to now center it. That looks pretty good. Just go to this little pencil up here and then just select crop. And that's it, now you're done. So now you can drag this, let's say you want to Photoshop. Uh, you could drag, let's say we go back into System Preferences, just change our desktop here. Perfect, okay, that's great. Now we've got our wallpaper here, and if we just create a new document, this is just an example guys, you don't have to be following along. And you drag this in here, you can see that this is nice and transparent, so you could put this, for example, if you wanted to do something fancy, I don't know, put it down there and make it look cool. You could do that. That's basically the tutorial. Now, the biggest part, of course, is getting this text layer to be transparent to fill. So that is the big thing. So yeah. So that is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a comment. But more importantly, hit that thumbs up button as it does help a lot. It really helps the channel out. And thanks guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video.